as language learners struggle to learn the patterns and rules of a second language, one thing constantly gets in the way. Exceptions to those rules and patterns. In learning our first language, as children, we learn the rules, then the exceptions, and eventually an integrated working model of the whole language. Beginner students quickly learn that English nouns become plural by adding S to the end. Staplers, votes, bicycles. After that, they start to learn that there are exceptions. Babies, puppies, parties, cities with I-E-S. Women, men, children, oxen with E-N. Words that get their internal vowels all messed up, like teeth and feet and geese and mice. We change F to V with knives and wives and loaves and leaves. People, we should say two people, hardly ever two persons, but it quickly becomes tricky and even my advanced English students make mistakes when it comes to some plurals. They have to memorize the plural grammar of words from Latin and Greek. Criteria, phenomena, crises, alumni, and more. Students also have to learn that some words are already plural because they have two connected halves. Glasses, pants, scissors, etc. If we want to count them, we have to say one pair of scissors, two pairs of glasses, three pairs of pants, etc. Additionally, there are words that don't change in the plural form. Fish, deer, sheep, moose, shrimp, series. We don't say fishes, deers, sheeps, etc. And finally, uncountable nouns are always single. We never add S to these words. Love, trust, oxygen, grammar, furniture, equipment, tennis, and more. In summary, a large majority of English nouns take S or ES in the plural. But you have to watch out for the exceptions. If you have a favorite tricky plural to share, write us here at Feel Like You Belong. Hey, Kimini, welcome to Feel Like You Belong. Thank you for having me, Alan. It's great to be here. Most people are familiar with these troublesome homophones, there, 